Here's a treat from Thing 2. Doesn't matter whether it's happy or sad, you can catch me sobbing during every episode of Crikey, it's the Irwins. And I'm so excited to be joined now by the Irwins, Bindi, Robert, Terry, and Chandler Powell, the fiance. Yes! yes. yes she said yes. <laughs> you look so relieved. <laughs> this would have been really open. Yeah, it would have been. She said no. Well, because you know the place is here, so I'm pretty sure I was going to say yeah. yes. Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. Providence. But no, that's a good thing. He's so yes. fighting yes. for you. That's it's good. Six years. You're a good guy, and I just Thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. I like that. Well, let's talk about the show. <laughs> yeah, it's some emotion. So that. you wouldn't think you'd get so emotional watching animals, and you all with animals, mm -hmm. but you do. I found myself in my feelings. What about for you all? When do you all find yourself getting teary-eyed working with them? Oh, mm. my goodness, all the time. I think that for me personally, our Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital mm -hmm. is where I get the most emotional. So we rescue and rehabilitate many different species of wild animals that mm. are sick, injured, orphaned, with the goal of getting them back into the wild and having having them get that second chance at life because with our ever-expanding human population, they really struggle in the wild. So we've rescued and rehabilitated over 86 thousand animals wow. which is huge and it is so wonderful but so emotional at the same time there's some bittersweet moments i mean from orphan koala joeys mm -hmm. to rescuing enormous sea turtles it's extraordinary that's where i get the most emotional oh, and i mean yeah. sometimes it's so sad because you're seeing animals that are just have had the most horrific run at it and they're just really it's the lowest point in their whole life but it is amazing as Bindi said to give them that second chance I think in one of the episodes of Crikey It's the Irwin season two mm -hmm. there's um, a, a tawny frogmouth which is this kind of owl looking bird they're really weird and we got him and our amazing vet team gave him like a 15% chance of, of wow. survival which is like next to none and he was I mean we all were preparing for him to, to die because mm -hmm. there was no way he was going to come back but somehow he survived and he just had so much personality and you know there's all these stories that you wouldn't think you'd get so attached to a bird mm -hmm. but you do and you're fighting for them you want them to recover and you know, it's, it's amazing. That's okay, cool, okay. Cool but can I tell you, too, like, we have this experience with a pregnant rhino on season two, mm. and the gestation period is, like, over 16 months. So yeah. it's a long way. You're way. That's yeah. that yeah. mean, like, carrying. They're pregnant. Pregnancy. They're pregnant for 16, for 16 yeah. months. So the rhino herself is saying, crikey, which yeah. is, you know, crikey. <laughs> crikey. But, but yeah. to a rhino, I mean, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they're born without a horn, in case you're worried. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's but, but I have to tell you the uh, mm. opposite end of the spectrum is that stuff is funny so we have a Sorry. rhino with a sense of humor he's out in this paddock it's about 30 acres where he gets to roam mm -hmm. and he hides behind this gate in the paddock and then when the pony rides come down every day the pony ride ponies walk down this road and he hides behind the gate and when the ponies get right in front of him he jumps out from behind the a gate rhino a, jumps. a rhino yes. wow. like moves forward <laughs> quickly it, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't actually like gazelle leap through the air <laughs> but he jumps out from behind the gate and the ponies all go ah! yeah. and you see him just he, go ha ha and the next day he does it again he has a sense just of over and over this is his own movie the ride of the funny ride it's so, so funny so and clearly ponies are goldfish like they don't remember every day yeah. they go they get ah! every day. Oh, my oh my gosh it's so funny well thank yeah. you for that <laughs> but I would have a, yeah I have a lot of questions yeah. we're going to talk about after this but Cindy I want to bring up a video oh, that you just posted uh, about your father Steve and you wrote, being a wildlife warrior means to stand up and speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. It's up to all of us to make a difference for the generations to come. The future is in our hands. And your dad's legacy is a big part of the show. And I really appreciate that statement that you made. And I would love to know, how do you all incorporate his message every day in the work that you do? Oh, that is a wonderful question. I think for us as a family, we always want to make sure that his legacy continues. Mm -hmm. Because dad always said, I don't care if people remember me. I care if people remember my message. So as a family, through the work that we do at Australia Zoo, before Dad actually passed away, mm -hmm. he and my beautiful mom sat down and wrote a 10-year business plan for Australia Zoo. And we have fulfilled all of his plans that wow. he wanted for Australia Zoo. And now, next year, we're moving into our 50th year at Australia Amazing. Zoo, our 50th birthday, and we have 
written a whole new set of plans, mm -hmm. just leading it forward. Australia Zoo and our wildlife conservation work, we have projects all over the planet that he was so passionate about that we've continued to make bigger and better, helping rhinos and cheetahs in Africa, tigers in Sumatra. It's so important for us to continue Dad's legacy and what he loved the most, which was wildlife conservation. And, and we get to do it together. But we just, yeah. just finished one of his greatest goals, which was to o open an elephant hospital in Indonesia. And so in Sumatra, when elephants um, step on a landmine or they get caught in a snare, there was no hospital to treat them. Wow. And we now have just opened an elephant hospital. Yes. So it's pretty yeah. special. It's exciting. It's exciting. But yeah. these are the things he would talk about. Yeah. And it's so important to continue his mission. Yes, for sure. Well, speaking of continuing people's missions, I have to bring up breeding on the show. You all do a lot of that on there within the koala well, the animals do. Yeah. 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 Sorry. 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 That's okay. That's okay. You know, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a regular. Give me a good pizza, <laughs> and I'm sad. Oh yeah, the we don't need to Terry, those rumors. Terry, we're not going to do that. We're not doing that today. Well, let's take a look okay. at. Let's take a look at the show. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> You've got to ask her permission first, Harley. Let's hear a bellow. Come on, give us a call. We're going to introduce the artificial sounds. Playing a recording of a bellow generally sets up a threat. If he thinks that there's a rival male in the area, he's going to out-bellow him to attract the female. He's like, whoa, where's he? He sounds better than this one. <laughs> Okay, that scene just really gets me. But tell me, how do you all set the mood for the animals out there? <laughs> well, I have to tell you, every animal is different. So like with crocodiles, they go through a lot of courting. He blows bubbles under her and rubs up and down on her. And if she says, no, thank you, he goes away. Koalas are kind of more... Uh, enthusiastic. Abrupt? <laughs> yes. Yeah, abrupt. And Harley, the koala that you saw in, in the clip, has an injured arm. So he came to us uh, permanently hurt and couldn't go back into the wild. So genetically, he's awesome for breeding. But he can't hang on to the tree. So everything happens oh. in a tree, awkwardly mm -hmm. enough. And so we actually kind of have to help <laughs> yes. Super yeah. awkward. It's super but awkward. It's great for the koala species. So yes. yes, Mindy. I mean. <laughs> it's yes. species and it's, yeah, it's, it's important. It's important. Yeah. We, but yes. all of the courting and everything, it's we kind of it help it's, it's, the whole. It's fascinating. Yeah, mm. fascinating. It's, but you get the whole life cycle on the show. You Put know, it this way, I never, to, to death. I never had to give my kids the talk. No. Oh, you no. said go outside. Oh, well, basically, go outside. Going, yeah. It's like, it's, mm. it's Animal Planet every day. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yes, yes, I, when I was watching the show, I was like, I'm learning so many things, yes. moves, ideas, everything. Yeah. So thank yes. you. <laughs> yes. Before I let you go, because we're running low on time. <laughs> and a quick transition. Biddy, you and Chandler are recently engaged. Congratulations. Thank you so but much. But what people do not realize is that you all met at the zoo where Terry met Steve. And I'd love to know, what was it like to see this love flourish in the same place that you found love? Well, you know, it was so special when Chandler came to the zoo for a visit and he was at the time a professional wakeboarder. Mm -hmm. And so it was a whole group that came in and Bindi did the tour. And then Chandler had his brother write to me at the zoo and say, may Chandler please stay in touch with Bindi. And so the fact that he was so, um, such a gentleman mm -hmm. and so kind about his, his approach. And I knew from the beginning that this was very special, but kind of interesting that I visited from America, met Steve and got married and Chandler visited from America and met Bindi and they're getting married. It's, mm. Yeah. Who, what's up here? Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, no. Robert. Robert, Robert is single. But it's Robert. Oh, Robert is single. Every yes, America, yes. Robert is single. But Robert, you, ha you have a really important role in this wedding, though. I, I do, You're yeah. You're walking your yeah. sister down the aisle. I'm walking Vinny down the aisle. I walk my amazing. sister down the aisle. Yeah, that's oh. amazing. Very special. Yeah. Oh, 
very special moment. I'm You're so going excited. to cry a lot. Just oh, get yes, ready. I'm preparing but, for that. But let me know, what are you most looking forward to that day? And what animals can we expect to be involved? Because it's oh, going no. to be at the zoo. Well, well I, I think yeah, these guys have, have been amazing with planning everything. And I can't wait. I know it's going to be such a special moment. And kind of this, this new chapter for the, for the Irwin family. So it's going to be awesome. I've put Chandler through his paces. And, and he's, <laughs> he is a, a great guy. He really is. So I, I think it's going to be super special. I'm... Yeah, I'm thrilled, overjoyed. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of happy tears. But yeah, I think we're thinking of incorporating a lot of different animals. What do you reckon? I think we'd like yeah. to see some koalas walking down koalas the aisle koalas. with us. Maybe wombats. Wombats. Yeah. That's a great idea. We'll see. Yeah. We'll yeah. get some snakes and crocodiles involved. When you live in a zoo, yeah. you, you know there's going to be. Yeah, you know, I think yeah, we should involved. start a tradition at a wedding day croc feed. A croc that yeah, cool? first croc yeah. feed. Yeah, yeah. first croc feed I as husband that. and wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Great. We're starting yes, a new I, tradition. I, 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 yeah. I now, I now I announce you, this. man and wife. You may feed you the crocodile. Feed the crocodile. <laughs> I love this. Only down under. Well, before we go, Chandler, did you tell me about the process of asking her for her hand in marriage? Did you ask for permission? Yes. So it was a few months out. I actually asked Terry and Robert personally. So Bindi had a meeting in the zoo, so I took the opportunity to set up a picnic for Terry and Robert and asked them if I was able to marry Bindi, and I love her with all my heart, and I really want to take it to the next step. And they immediately said yes and hugged me and welcomed me to the family, and it was one of the most special days of my life. So... For the proposal, actually, it was on Bindi's 21st birthday. Oh, and I organized, cool. yeah, I organized a 21st birthday photo shoot, which became an engagement shoot. shoot but um, it you gave us the opportunity. I know. So it gave us the opportunity to dress up out of cocky and get nice clothes Otherwise, on. Otherwise, I would have been yeah. suspicious. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly, because we never change out of cocky. Okay. That's what we're always wearing. Yeah. Gotcha. So we got into nice clothes, and the day before, Robert and I found the perfect spot so that he could hide in the bushes and get the perfect photo. So it was a really special day. Yeah, oh it was. Like There's a, a lot of moving parts. And a lot of family effort. Yeah, so yes. it was a big There's team effort, actually. And he's very clever. Yeah. You know, here's a picnic with a cheese wheel. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, I reckon you're yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> you can marry me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheese exactly. wheel. Make a note, America. Cheese boards cheese will get wheel. you married. Yes. Thank you permission. Well, Take thank it. you all so much yeah. for being here. This has been so much fun. Thank and now I want to come visit, because I'm sure that's going to be totally different. Please do. Wear that. Yeah, will wear my yes. little French yes. shirt with a cougar. I don't, what a type of animal is this? It, it looks like a leopard. leopard. Yeah, like leopard. Yeah. leopard. Yeah. It's yeah. dangerous. Leopard cheetah. Yes. Yeah. Like Apex me. predator. Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> well, thank you all so much. Crikey, it's the Owens premieres this Saturday on Animal Planet. Up next, more a and to DM.